In Hong Kong, the party's also over for one super rich megastar. Martial arts legend Jackie Chan lived the high life for years, but not anymore. When I was 20, I, I read a million years. I, I buy a diamond watch, I buy Porsche, everything. But later on, enough. Now I just, just a low key as possible, you know. No more diamond watch, no more fancy car. Jackie's got houses all over the world, and they're often besieged by tourists. So here, in his native Hong Kong, he's taken the radical step of creating a home in an old anonymous factory. Then I built my secret, secret home. You know, it's like an uh, industry area. There's no tour bus come. From outside, you don't know, you don't know that's the home. But inside, it's a spectacular lad's pad. Downstairs is the cavernous play area. The next floor up contains Jackie's offices and gym. That's a fun part. It also contains his private apartment, accessed, like something in the movies, through a secret door. That's my bathroom. Looks like a bathroom. But when you push the glasses, that's my... another secret room. And that's my closet. I like the, you know, underground secret door. When I was young, I seen that like a Batman TV, Batman, Superman, you know, this kind of secret, secret, secret area. Actually, I have a secret door everywhere here. When I push the wall, there's another secret room. Then you can come in. There's a, another small area, then you push the... Then that's my bedroom. And that's a, the empty bed. Just like a old traditional Chinese bed. But I, I realized I like to stay outside, you know, watching a TV, then falling asleep more, more than here. This is too, too tiny for me. Probably later on I will take this out and to, to change another area. Then when you push this one, see, that's my shortcut to my office. And when I go to the back, I just have a secret button here. Open, then go. Jackie is an inveterate collector. The house is filled to the brim with stuff. But what obsessions has he lavished most money on? Martial arts memorabilia? Age-old samurai swords? And that's my bar area, the bar area with uh, a lot of teacups. I collect a lot of different teacups. That's the only part of them. I have more than like 1,200 teacups from around the world. So much for the tough guy. His other big passion is for wine, kept in custom-built cellars. And that's the whole, whole area. And that's a, just one of them. I have another one in downstairs. But despite their prominent display, Jackie's collections no longer give him the pleasure they once did. The problem is after I collect all the cup and saucers and the wine, then I find out I don't like cup and saucers, I don't like wine anymore. But what can you do? You waste a lot of money and 